Write Your Own Adventure Games for Your Microcomputer was one of Usborne's computer books from the early 1980s, this one published in 1983. It was written by Jenny Tyler and Les Howarth and contains two basic programs, one for most home computers, the Spectrum 48K, TRS-80, Apple, Dragon, Vic, Oric, BBC and Pet, and a special cut-down version for the ZX81, which was written by Chris Oxlade. I've put a link to the Usborne website below, where you can download the PDF book for free, that's in the description. The book starts with a description of, of what, what an adventure game really is, beginning with the first ever adventure game, Adventure. Adventure was written on a mainframe computer in 1976 and was written in Fortran, which, as the book notes, cannot handle words. It also covers the difference between adventure games and role-playing games, where adventure games are more like puzzles and role-playing games are, have more chance involved, for example, rolling of dice, attributes and so on. It goes into really great detail then about how to plan and write your own adventure games starting out with getting the idea of what sort of world you want to build and drawing a very basic map. The book has its own adventure game within it and through the pages starting here we slowly flash out the ideas in a really engaging way. So adventure games are all about objects, verbs, puzzles and locations. So we start out by drawing a basic map, then we build a proper grid with exits marked upon it. Interestingly, we use a one-dimensional array rather than a two-dimensional array, and the book explains that this actually uses less memory. What's interesting is, rather than going north, adding one to, say, the, the y-axis, we would add eight if it's an eight-by-eight eight grid. Um, it does say you can actually change it to use two dimensions if you want to. The book then goes on to describe what sort of treasures we might find in the haunted house, but also has ideas and suggestions for other treasures, such as that those in a detective game being forms of evidence and the puzzles you need to solve to collect them. So puzzles always need solutions. So we look at the, ob the obstacles in our way to gathering these treasures and how to solve them, which then gives, gives an idea of how to order your adventure, what verbs you need and so on. Finally, we get to see the master plan of the haunted house, where all the objects and the puzzles and the objects are placed. There are then a good 16 pages of really detailed information about each part of the adventure program. How moving works, how you pass text input, looking for spaces and trimming spaces, how you load data into the arrays, whether you want to add sound effects. Really great stuff. One of the last pages in the book, after both sets of program listings, is a set of extra hints and tips to make really good adventure games. The last of which is one that's dear to my heart, keep it friendly. It encourages making the computer put out friendly messages, or even funny ones. So rather than saying, too dark, it say, you need a light to go here. So the version I downloaded from World of Spectrum to save me typing had a couple of errors in it. Most were cosmetic, so there was missing spaces, so it said you would get the aerosol, rather than the space aerosol. But a couple were more actually stop you playing the game. One meant you weren't, you weren't able to actually examine anything, which is a bit of a problem because you examine the things to find hidden objects. That line is line 330. In the downloaded version, it reads for i equals 1 to v, but it should read for i equals 1 to w. As the w is the count of objects in the game, v is the count of verbs. So basically, as there are more objects than verbs, you can't find all the objects. This wouldn't let you examine the coat. The other nasty problem that hits you as soon as you fix that is line 60. You lose line 60 in the space trimming routine. Uh, it contains the variable f string, f dollar, and f dollar only has nine spaces in it but needs 12. Otherwise, when you get key, you'll get a subscript error. So, on to the adventure. Haunted House is set in a weird house standing on the edge of a sheer cliff. Its strange, twisted turrets loom out of an always gloomy sky. No wall seems straight, no corner a right angle. Not surprisingly, no one lives there. Well, no human, that is. People say that the richest man in the world spent his last days there. Strangely, no one ever saw his body. 
we start the adventure outside the Iron Gates. And it's outside the Iron Gates is where we need to return. We start out in lowercase mode, which is always the curse of adventure games. Because we just don't understand what's going on. The book said, please remember to put caps lock on. It's interesting that in this in Spectrum Basic, upper casing text is actually rather difficult. Even turning on caps lock is difficult. I know it can be done via poke, apparently. So we wander around outside, looking for stuff. We found an aerosol, which is a spray can, which we'll, we shall be using later. The typical thing, you wander around. At least this tells you the exit. You can go west and go east by some railings. All fairly basic so far. The location information is not very exciting. You can type go north. You can type just or you can type just the single letters, but north, south, west, up and down. We're now in the house. The door is slammed shut behind us. We can no longer leave. So we're trapped in the house. This is a bad thing. We're now in the closet. So this is where the first of those, but actually both of these bugs would hit you. The first bug wouldn't let you examine the coat. It would tell you it is silly, which is annoying because why wouldn't you examine a coat? And the second bug wouldn't let you get the key. As soon as you got the key, it would just crash, which is rather dispiriting. But now we've examined the coat, found the key in the pocket of the coat, and we can now come out of the closet. Probably this house is in America. Especially as the house has a front lobby and a front hall, very posh. I was rather hungry, so I kept up and go eat rather than go east. Now we're in a sitting room. Which is, of course, next to the Library of Evil Books. Let's get the candlestick. In adventure games, you always want to steal everything. Unfortunately, this game didn't understand um, inventory or ing or I. You have to type carrying then with a question mark, which is um, intuitive. So, we have a desk and a hole in the wall. Do, 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 where strangers become friends. So, open the drawer. What's in the drawer? We have a candle. We have a candle and a candlestick. And a hole in the wall. I, I remember when a hole in the wall was a term for a cash point. Cash point is of course a trademark of Lloyds Bank. But we have a hole in the wall or hole in the wow. And examining a hole in the wall is apparently silly. It's like, yeah, no, it's you mention it, it's probably important, Chekhov's gun and all that. This is the problem with text adventures, if the parser isn't very good, it's just it's irritating, so you know what you want to do. Mystery of Silver Mountain was good, because it let, it let you do the same thing in multiple wa ways. You could use a sheet, you could rig a sheet, you could, you could uh, give bread to the rats, you could feed rats. So, we got bored of that, let's leave, back to the Library of Evil Books. Another sitting room with an evil sofa. Now in a pool of light. Well, we shall take the batteries. Beyond the pool of light, it's dark. And we can't proceed without a light. We have a candle and a candlestick, but no way of lighting them. Vacuum. That will come in handy. We can carry lots and lots of things. So we're now carrying a vacuum cleaner. Hopefully it's a small one, like a Henry the Hoover. My well, Henry's quite big, maybe the handheld ones. Oh, kitchen. I have those matches, thank you. And a grimy cooker. Obviously the cleaner, cleaner never quite made it to the kitchen. So let's go out the back. Ah, by the rubbish. Anything in the rubbish? Yeah. okay. Ooh, here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Overgrown garden, or would be because no one's been in the house for years. Dark corner, twinned with dark towers. Side of the house, crumbling wall, we can't go any further. So there's nothing of interest down here. Never mind. We're not, not up against a time limit, which is good. It's not like we have to escape before midnight or be turned into a ghost or a pumpkin. 
this makes things easier. This island of secrets, you had your strength trickling down, Mr. Silver Mountain, you're limited really by the boots. Back to the wood pile. Where to go next? The problem with adventure games, unlike role playing games where you could take a few hits and survive, in adventure games usually you get stuck or you die. So I'm pondering now where to go. And let's go east. And let's keep going east, we've not been east yet. Reed Patch. Sure, I shall take the shovel. It will come in handy. And the forest, the spooky, spooky forest. Oh, that's possibly a wolf. I can't climb the tree. I could have climbed the rope, but I took the rope. So let's explore the cliff top. Next is the cliff path. This goes further down to the shore. This is by the marsh. Um, once you cross the marsh, you can't come back. The marsh is rather nasty, you get stuck in the mud unless you use the boat, and the boat gets stuck in the mud as well. So that's the way out. But we haven't got any treasures yet, I don't think. Apart from a well, candlestick, I suppose. So let's go back to the house and go back to the pool. Let's go back and see what's going on. That hole is irritating. It's an irritating hole. I don't like it. Ob it's obviously it's a mystery of some kind. So let's go and sort it out. Now the sitting room, which is twinned with the uh, next door to the Library of Evil. So let's use the axe. Will that work? No, you can't use the axe. Okay, can we chop down the wall? No, I can't chop down the wall. Even if I spell it wrong twice. Can I chop the wall spelled correctly? I can't chop the wall. Okay. Can I break the wall? No. Okay. At least we tell us what we can do what we can use, and one of the verbs we can use is swing. So we could swing low, but this has we'll swing the axe instead. And we now broke the thin wall and found the secret room. Here there are magic spells. So let's just take those. Always useful to have magic spells, abracadabra. Let's examine the spells. Makes sense. No, we can't examine the spells. Let's read the spells then. Ah! So, back with part two. Leave the secret room. Leave the evil books. Back in the sitting room. Now in the pool of light. Remember, we can't go further north without a light because it's dark. Fortunately, we can light the candle. Let's cast a flickering light. Let's steal the coins, which are kept in a dark alcove, which is obviously where you're going to keep coins. Small dark room. Nice spooky spiral staircase. Turret room. Some scrolls. scroll. Back in a wee dusty room they should probably get a new cleaner. These rich recluses have never seen, never seen to have happy lives. All this money. So, impressive vaulted hallway. Get the statue. We like stealing everything we can. Let's go through, go through the nice door. So, you 
can try use key, it won't work, so we unlock the door. Then we found the key in the coat pocket. So one thing is not immediately, immediately apparent is that the candle will go out eventually. And if it is, you can get stuck in the dark. If you're stuck in the dark, then you can't move and you're stuffed. So upper gallery, we have ghosts. Fortunately, we have the vacuum cleaner and the batteries to solve the ghosts. Or steal the goblet. So how are we doing? 15, okay. Once you've got everything in, in the house that's not nailed down, they'll tell us, then you can leave and start selling it all on eBay. Or down the pubs and the very cold chamber. Oh dear. Spooky room. With a painting that we can steal. Possibly of dogs playing poker. Let's now leave. Magical barrier. Fortunately, exemplar. If you don't know the magic word, you're stuck forever and presumably starved to death, which is a bit scary. So we're now in a dark room. Once you're in the dark, we can't move. So we can light the candle, not the amble. Trophy room. Probably for the scary stuffed heads. Dining room, which is a long way away from the kitchen, so their food is probably always cold. Howard Hughes had that in his house in Las Vegas. The time the food got to the, his plate, the salad, the salad, the salad had wilted from the air conditioning. So slippery steps. Down the slippery steps. Where there's blame, there's a claim. Sat with a barred window. And we have a creepy coffin. This is probably the richest man in the world. And we're now robbing his corpse. Hooray! Teaching kids about robbing the dead. Woohoo! But we have now stolen everything from this poor man. And we can now go, if we can get out to the start, we win. We have the shovel, so we can busy bash our way out to the wall. If the candle is still okay, we could also have gone out the long way round. So this is the shortcut. Down the cliff path we were earlier. Or down to the shore. By the marsh. We need to use the boat in the marsh, otherwise we get stuck in the mud and again we'll either die or drown. So let's move from the marsh and I to a boat. Ah, we're still in the boat somehow by the brickwork. So let's get rid of the boat. Um, okay, can I not drop the boat? No, okay, can I leave the boat? Exit boat. Oh, leave boat. Okay, fine. And there was a trap forever in a boat. So we remember we were here earlier, so we came and got the aerosol can. There's apparently some kind of bat repellent bat spray, possibly left there by Batman. Now the railings, path to the iron gate. So let's check our score. And we are triumphant. Bizarre. So thank you for sitting through Write Your Own Adventure Games for your microcomputer. Um, I enjoyed making the video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up.